hey everybody welcome back to my channel um today i want to do like a reveal unboxing i guess um i made a few purchases and um here's the first one i literally just got this in the mail and um i'm excited to share with you so we're gonna go ahead and open it I purchased this from a um, resale shop. This is a bag and um, I got it from, let's see here, a place called Opulent Habits. And um, here she wrote me a personal note saying thank you for the purchase. And that's her information down there, Opulent Habits. I purchased my Chanel Jumbo from her. Um, I think two years ago, and I really enjoyed it. She's very fast. She does co-signment here. I don't know what it says. It says you can earn up to 90% off your sale. Um, and then she just, here's more information. So here's her card. When I first met her, she was just starting out, but she's doing excellent now. So there's our information if you're interested in buying from her or you want to do some co-selling or co-signment i'm sorry um this is the information and it's in this box with all the pretty wrapping it kind of remind me of like fashion file so i'm I, this is my first time opening it this is so pretty i like the pink and gold her name is darcy um, she's so sweet. She's very fast. So let's see. All oh, this tissue paper feels wonderful. And as you can see, I have a Chanel bag. Okay, we can finally get rid of this big box. Okay. Ooh. Guys, I just noticed it's like super cloudy on my camera. So I'll hold on for a second. Let me see here. Me and my crazy videos. <laughs> it's always something on my videos. Um, okay, so I hope that's a little bit better. Um, so I'm excited. I'm excited. It comes with the dust bag. Ooh, she's doing so good with the branding. There it is. So I really like how she did it. And this tissue paper, guys, is kind of some good quality. This isn't your typical dollar store paper. This is maybe from Target. But I love it here. So I think you can see through the plastic. Um, okay, Darcy, if you ever watch my videos, I don't even know if she knows I make videos. I'm not sure. But I just want to say you threw down with this whole wrapping. Good job. Now I'm going to tell you guys, I hate unboxings that take all year. So I'm trying to hurry up and reveal it to you. This is a Chanel Jumbo in the silver hardware. And this, guys, is the single flap. I love single flaps. I don't really care for the double flaps. I have one and I didn't really like it. Put that up for some nice eye candy. But here she is. Guys, this is my holy grail bag. Okay? This is my first time seeing it. I have to check it out. So, I bought this for a beautiful deal. So, let's see if it was worth it. It feels good. Let's smell it. Has a slight mildewy smell, but not much. But it definitely has a slight mildewy smell. There is some slight tarnishing of the handle here. Um, the corners were kind of worn in the picture that I saw but i don't really see it it doesn't the pictures look worse this is not bad that was the only wear that she discussed 
in the pictures. Oh, I can see it here. I don't know if you can. The light isn't good enough for you to see, but as I'm examining it, I mean, there's slight. I mean, there's corner damage, definitely, but it's nothing that just pops out. Um, the hardware looks pretty good. It probably just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. There is wear on the leather between the chains. So those probably need to be cleaned up. But look, I'm not mad because I got this bag at such a great, great deal. My ultimate dream bag was a single flap black caviar bag with silver hardware. And this is it in the inside. So she has it stuffed. Let's see what this looks like here. That looks pretty good. And I was thinking about turning it in to get refurbished or a spa treatment. This is the inside of the bag. You have a flap. It's just like my lambskin jumbo with the gold hardware. But you have a flap here. Then you have a zipper here. And here's the pull tab for that. I don't know if you can see it. Um, I'm like super excited. Let me smell it. Yeah, it definitely has a mildew stain. There is some wear here at the corners, like right here. So you guys, I'm like super excited. And then when you close it, that's it on the side. It's not, it hasn't lost too much structure. Um, but I'm gonna tell you, I got this bag, I think for 3,400, these retail for 5,500. And she worked with me too. She's like such a darling. Um, but I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm upset about. I don't know if you watched my last video about the um, the, the the Chanel card holder with the back pocket and I swapped the silver one like this for the gold one. I bought that before I knew I was getting this bag, but I saw it was such a great deal. I just like jumped on it because it was my dream bag and I really wanted it. So um, here she is. I'm just like so excited. This is like my holy grail grail. I love this bag, but it definitely needs to be turned in for some spa treatment at um, some place that would do it. Here is made in Italy. I was trying to look here to see where it was made. It did not come with the authenticity. Um, with the authenticity tag, but it's supposed to have came with um the 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 paper where she she got it authenticated but i don't see it so i have to email her that's why i bought it without the um that's why i bought it without the um card because she she gets all of her stuff authenticated before she sells it but i do have to email her and ask her where is the authentic intensity papers for it since it didn't have the card with it but there you go so I also have one more thing to show you guys if I can grab it here so here's um, a newer purchase um, It's a Louis Vuitton bag, and there you go. You can see that to the side, and there you go. I have to remember how to fold this bag. I always wonder how they do it, but this is the speedy. 30 bandelier or bandelier, I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. 
in the Damier bin, if I didn't say that already. And here is the information for that particular piece for you guys. Um, so if you saw the last video, I was trying to debate on what to do. Do I get the speedy um, 30 or 25? I had the 25 and I returned it because it, even though it was such an awesome bag, I am just a bag lady and I have to accept that. And I realized that um, the 30 is just for me. That fits my lifestyle. Um, I don't know how to really work this. But there you go. You hook this on. And I really needed something because my job, there's like a lot of walking. And I was using, I had the exact same bag like this. But the classic version, this is the bandolier, so that means it has the reinforced strap to hang the strap on. And um, it was hurting my arm because I put so much in it. I would have my shoes in it. I would have my lunch in there. Um, and it was just like killing my arm in the inside. But I'm going to tell you the style look. I love the classic bandoliers better. The style is just to me is ladylike to hold it with your hand or or on your wrist. It's just more ladylike to me. It's just I don't know. But in this size, it's not cool. Maybe with the 25, you it looks cute, but in this size, it's just too heavy and big. So I'm gonna tell you, this isn't as shiny as the other one. This is a brand new one. Okay, I'm not liking this glazing right here. It doesn't feel as thick as my other one. Here's the inside. I keep looking at the outside, but that's the inside. It has the puffier chaps. You have the um, pocket here with the zipper now. The old style didn't have the zipper. Um, of course, here are the keys. And like the other video I showed you, these have an extra additional pocket in it to put your keys in. The older ones do not. Um, where is my lock? Here's the lock. They already hook it on for you. So I guess when you want to have extra protection, you just clip it right there through both of these with the keys. And I never understood that concept because it's like, if I lock my bag up, I'm scared I'm going to lose the keys. But I, I, they definitely can give you copies for costs at the store. But you can crossbody this. Um, this is, looks like it's on the shortest nozzle notch. Is that what you call it? Notch. Um, and then you can take the, the middle part off, I think and reconnect it and it'll make it shorter to make it like a a short shorter to make a shoulder bag so i'm really excited to have it because i could put my shoes in here my lunch all of my enormous amounts of slgs um the leather on this i was told has changed they're making it more rubberized to stop the cracking of the canvas they were having an issue with that so that's something newer. I wonder when this bag was made. Let's see. Oh, my Chanel bag is a, I think a 13 series. So I'm looking for the information. So this is SD. Let's see, 3147. So the 34th week of this year. So that means it was made this week. This bag was made this week and this is not made in France yeah I doubt it. it it would say France here if it was made in France so most USA bags if you stay in the US brand new um, you're likely going to get a US bag but I am happy I'm still debating if I want to keep it because I have a 30 classic 30 that was practically i didn't wear it a lot so it kind of still smells new it looks new 
So I think I'm going to try to sell that one to, to justify having this one. Because I really, really, this is one of my favorite bags, the Speedy. But now that it has the strap, I think I'm going to fall even more in love with it. Because of the convenience of it. I always hated it because it can get so heavy. Um, but now that I can, you know, do a crossbody, even though it'll look large, but it'll free my hands up for a second for me to carry it this way if I needed to. Uh, I mean, the free my hands up if I need to do something um, like wash my hands at the sink because you know when you wash your hands at the sink it's like <laughs> you know your bag is in the way it's getting wet you don't want to set it on that nasty sink when you're in public so I always needed a, a I always wished I had this strap for that event but I am happy and um as far as this bag the Chanel bag this is a Let's see, guys. This is a. Let's see if I can see the serial number. This is a 13 series. So this was probably made in like 2000. I think the 13 series are 2009, 2010. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say 2009, 2010 is the 13 series. So there you have it. My two new bags. Can I fit it in the camera? I'm still debating though about what I want to do as far as keeping this one. I just really don't know. I'm just kind of up in the air about it because I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell the 30. Um, my other one, 30, was purchased brand new just like this one. So maybe if you're interested in buying it, let me know. We could try to work something out, but there you go. My two babies, my holy grail and my one of my favorite bags together. Yay. All right, guys, this video is running kind of long. So if you have any questions or concerns, leave them below and I try my best to get back with you. Have a good holiday.